Hello my stars and galaxies, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot. Today we're doing a reader for Aries. Aries is all about you, so let the Aries do that. Now before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when I upload. And please note that the Tarot Instagram page is in the description box below, along with my cash app so you know exactly where to go if you want to contact me for a personal reading and you know exactly where to deposit the money to, okay? Now with all that other stuff out the way, let's get started. Okay. Again, it's an Aries, Aries reading. It's a very Aries reading. <laughs> okay. We're going to try that shuffling thing again. They say practice makes perfect. Okay. Practice makes perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh, God, I almost had it. Well, you guys saw. I had I had it in my other video. You guys, I had it in my other video. Like, I had it in the video before this one. Okay? So we're going to draw all 15 cards. Okay. Now, if Aries, our first card says the Two of Pentacles, right? So you see, I see here that you're juggling with, ugh, I don't know why I lost my train of thought. You're juggling with money and relationships, okay? So you are trying, so I'm seeing here that you're trying to get into like, it's like maybe a school or you're trying to get into a new job. You know, there's a job career that you really, really want. You're trying to get into it. So that's juggling your money. So it's kind of like coming out of your pocket sometimes. So, you know, you're juggling your money. And then you're juggling your relationship. But your relationship partner wants to spend time with you. But, you know, it kind of seems like you're really working and stuff like that. Well, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, you're working so you can have a better life for yourself and possibly a better life for them. You know, so that way you won't have to work as much if you get to where you want to be. Okay. The Eight of Wands, okay? So your partner is in love with you, okay? But the two of you are kind of struggling to see each other often, okay? They want more of your time, basically. Mm -mm. I feel like this is going to be a minute. So let's drink some water. Well, I'm going to drink some water. You guys are going to watch me drink some water. <clears throat> Much better. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, they're in love with you, they want to be with you, they want to spend time with you, but you don't really have much time. Okay, you try to make time, you know, but it's I guess it's I guess the time limit is not to their satisfaction. Maybe you get to see them uh once like one day out of the week or two days out of the week or maybe like a couple, maybe like once or twice a day or stuff like that, right? But whatever the time limit may be, you know, they have to understand that this is only um until you get into where you want to be. Okay, and then when you finally get to that spot, particular place in your life, then it won't be as hectic, you know, you'll, you'll just be focused. So like if you're in a school, like if you're in school and then you finish your school and then you go into your, let's say, business and marketing may, um, career, you won't be as busy. Like business, business and marketing is a little bit busy, is a, busy, a slightly busy um, career, but at least that won't be the only thing that you're doing. So when you're off from that job, you can come home to your partner and all that stuff like that. So it's only temporary until you get to that comfortable spot in your life that you're trying to get to. Okay? The hanged man in the reverse, okay? And they're, they feel like they're constantly waiting up for you. You know, like, it's like, but it's like, you know, again, they knew this would be a factor if they went out with you in the first place. Because you always, you always told them, like, hey, I'm doing this and doing so and so, like, I'm trying to work and juggle school at the same time and in our relationship or i'm trying to juggle you know getting into this job or being an internship for this job and stuff like that you know and all that stuff like whatever you're, you're juggling everything else and then you have a relationship on top of that that needs some attention okay so they're constantly feeling that they're waiting up for you like for example they're waiting for you to, for their wait right now they wait they feel like they're waiting for you just to text them or call them or when they text you or call you you don't really answer for a couple of hours you know, and you or you just leave them on red for a minute, you know, so they feel like they're waiting up for you. Temperance in the reverse, okay? So maybe the time is just not ready 
for you guys to be in a relationship. Maybe that's all right. Because if that's the case, maybe you should not. You should not. Excuse me, I burp. Maybe the two of you should not be in a relationship right now, okay? Because if you're so busy, Aries, and you're doing this, that, and the third, and then you have to come back into a relationship, and you're already bone tired by the time you get to that relationship, then maybe you guys should not be in a relationship right now, okay? The Eight of Cups, all right? So, Aries, you have a choice to make. Either walk away from the relationship or try to, or just stay in the relationship and tell them, hey, you know, this is just how it is right now. If you don't want to, you know just stick it out then that's fine that's fine but you know this is something that's going to make my life better this is something that's gonna you know be better for me financially in the future okay the nine of cups okay see they want to grow with you they want to invest time with you okay but what they fail to realize is that you're not an idly per you're not an idle person okay you're not just sitting around doing a part lane part-time job and, you know, just coming in the, you know, struggling to pay the bills or the rent or whatever you got going on in your life. You know, you're not just standing around and then you just give them all your time and attention. Like, no, they get your time and attention when you're done doing the actual important stuff, okay? Not that I'm not, not, not that I'm saying a relationship is not important, but I'm saying you got to know your priorities for first, okay? Because you got to know your finding, you not, if you're in school, you know you have to stay in school to get your a better education so you can go be, make big bucks at whatever major you decided to do. Like if you went to an arts major, you can be a great painter or, or designer or something like that. Or if you went into a healthcare major, you could be a great doctor or a nurse or something like that. You understand? You know, so that you make big bucks and you know that'll that'll mellow out everything else. Okay. The lovers, okay? So boy. So I'm seeing here that there was a third party, okay? So they basically cheated on you, okay? They basically seeing somebody else behind your back, okay? Because, and guess what their valid reason is? You're never around, you know? I barely get to see you. I get to see you maybe like once or twice a day, and you know, that's it. Or when I text you or call you, sometimes you don't even answer. Like, and you know, that's their temp that They gave into temptation. It wasn't intentional at first, but then they gave into it. And they were just like, oh, wow, this is nice. And yeah, so yeah, third party death in the reverse nobody died you didn't kill anyone stop it okay okay i mean you probably thought that in your head but who knows anyway death in the reverse stand still their life is in a standstill so they wanted to try to make your life into a standstill as well because they don't want to feel like you're just gonna get ahead of them and just leave them behind okay so that's why they were trying to like that's why they were pining and anchoring for your attention to slow you down okay they want to slow you down so you can just s spend time with them and just you know just sit around with them, you know? The hermit, okay? So, Aries, you feel like you needed to, cut, like, well, you feel like, well, first, you feel like you needed to ask them why they did it, okay? And like I said earlier, their excuse was that you were never around, okay? You know, they felt like, you know, you were going to leave them behind, okay? You know, you're gonna, once you get got successful, you were just going to leave them behind and they, you know, never, they're never going to see you. They feel like they're not going to see you like that or whatever the case is, you know? So that is their excuse. So you, Aries, of course, feel some type of way. And let's see how your reaction is. The world. Let me see. Okay. So, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. So obviously, Aries, you um, decided to leave them because, you know, that's some bull. That is some BS, okay? You So, you know, you got your closure. That's their answer for why they cheated on you. So now that you've gone from them, you feel content, okay? Because you don't feel as obligated to go straight to a, um, a partner that's waiting for you after you're done doing all this jobs and working or whatever else you're doing, okay? So after when you get all that stuff out of the way, you actually come home to a quiet environment where you can just crash if you need to. You understand? Justice in the reverse, okay? But, um, I mean, of course, you know, the separation did make you feel some type of way because it's just like you've explained it time and time again that this whole thing was for the better, to better yourself, okay? And they could got, they could have gotten some of the fruits of your labor if they just had stuck it out. But, you know, separation, you know, they, they, they wanted to try to hide it too, but they were not good liars, so eventually you found out, Okay. The high priest in the reverse. False information. False information, okay? I'm not sure what is false. I mean, because... Well, maybe because... Maybe it's saying false information because they did lie, 
they were just like, you know, it's just like, oh no, I was just um in the shower, or you know, I was just hanging out with some friends, you know, like you know, like when you act when you finally made time for them and you ask them, hey, where are you? I don't see you. Da -da 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 -da. You know, they were just like, oh, I'm just hanging out with some friends. You know, I figured you were gonna be gone for a while, this and that, and time trying to manipulate you and trying to think like, you know, you know, you're gone, so I'm just hanging out with some friends, and you know, you're not there, so I just gotta have to find something to occupy my time. They found something to occupy their time. Yep. The magician, okay? Aries, you probably already know this, but you can do anything you want without a partner, okay? You keep doing your daily grind. Somebody who understands how hardworking you are will come into your life and appreciate that, okay? The Ace of Cups, okay? You're starting fresh, and you got a new love, okay? And you got a new love. You got a new love. Good for you, Aries. All right, you got a new. You either got a new love or you're you're you don't know it yet, and you're soon to be getting a new love. But either way, you are getting a new love, <clears throat> and someone who understands how hardworking you are and how you won't always have time for them, but you still make the effort to try and make time for them. That is what's most appreciated. Okay, and the last card says three of cups. Okay, so I'm seeing that there's an engagement. There's an engagement. You're not everyone's celebrating and you're celebrating with your friends and all that stuff like that. This can't be right now. I mean, it could be like maybe like in the, like in the future, Aries. You know, maybe in the future you feel like getting you guys like you know tie that knot. This 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 could be in the this could be in the distant future or it could be sometime soon. Okay, but either way, it's an engagement. You know, and everyone's celebrating. Your friends are there. Your family is there. Everyone's just happy and celebrating. Yeah. So it's basically like a, um, a Disney's happy, happily ever after. <laughs> so Aries, I hope this did resonate with you. I hope I did bring enlightenment or, you know, um, help on this situation. I hope it did resonate with you. But if it did not resonate with you, I do apologize. Hopefully the next Aries video will. But in the meantime, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload. This has been the Universe Terror. Namaste.